everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back. And in this video, I'll be discussing how I spiritually cleanse my locks. I did a poll on Instagram and most of you guys voted for spiritual cleanse video, so that's coming up now. But for those of you who voted for the length check, that'll be up soon, okay? I would have done it together in the same video, but I forgot that I am going out today and I put my hair in this bun and I'm not taking it down because I gotta go. As soon as I stop recording, I am out the door. Alright, so um, first things first, I sent out an email to my mailing list. So if you're not on my mailing list, please sign up for my mailing list. I have a link below to sign up. But um, I asked for your help. I just asked for a quick testimonial. It could be one or two sentences uh, for the Sephora squad. I applied to be in the Sephora squad, which is a influencer collective, basically. Um, and the reason why I want to be in the Sephora squad is because I would like to be a, an influencer in their team to represent for the team locks, you know? I think that it's important for us to break the stigmas, the social stigmas attached to locks and, and beauty on the mainstream level. And I think that this opportunity is a step in the right direction so so if you feel like I've been a good representation of locks on social media and in beauty please please click the link below and submit a couple sentences for me I don't really appreciate it okay and my last church announcement I'm sorry if you can hear the wind it's really really windy today it's kind of scary I don't like it but um my last announcement is that I will be relaunching my website so, um, for those of you who've been shopping at lovelocks.storyandbeauty.com, it'll, everything will shift over to keishacharmaine.com pretty, pretty soon. And if you've been using my oils for a while, please, please, please contact me, email me, leave a comment below, and let me know how you feel about the oils, how they've been treating you, and let me know. I'd like to, to get your testimonial for that as well, and I'd like to share that on my website. Okay, so now in, in the topic of the video... I have notes here so don't mind if I'm looking away at some points. A few videos ago I brought up the topic of why people cut their locks off and why they start them over like why they comb it out and start them over or why they cut them off and then start a new set and one of the things that I suggested suggested is that for people who end up regretting their decision of cutting it or combing it out I suggest that they use a spiritual cleanse. Now the reason why I said that is because oftentimes when people decide to comb out their locks or cut off their locks, they do it because of some sort of trauma, some sort of heartache, some sort of stress. And they want to get rid of that energy so they cut off their locks or they comb them out to get rid of the energy that they believe is attached to their locks. Now I suggest a spiritual cleanse because a spiritual cleanse can also get rid of the energy without getting rid of the hair. A spiritual cleanse doesn't have to be anything fancy and I will talk about what I do in a moment. So by no means are these the rules. This is something that I was like intuitively guided towards and um, there was no structure to it. It just, you know, it just flowed naturally. So um... I have to think back onto what I do to make this video and and then I, I I was able to you know categorize the steps I actually did do a spiritual cleanse on my locks a few weeks ago so you know it's pretty fresh on my brain spiritual cleanse my spiritual cleanse on my locks involves prayer setting attentions visualizing and gratitude and pretty much in that order. Now I'm sure for m many of you, you all have different reasons for wanting to do a spiritual cleanse. A lot of the times women and our hair, somehow they become linked to the men in our lives or the people who we're dating I should say. And you know a lot of times after a relationship people want to cut their hair off and or change it up some dramatic way. As cliche as it sounds, that that is often the case when women want to change their hair and cut off their locks. Um, personally, I did this, my spiritual cleanse a few weeks ago after a breakup. So my spiritual cleanse was to help me 
you know, kind of just move forward because it was a breakup where it was like a back and forth for a very, very long time, a back and forth. So I was like, you know what, this is not healthy for me. This is not what I want for my life. I need to, you know, really have this moment to purge. So for my example, um, I wash my hair in the shower. So I will get in the shower, saturate my hair with water fully before, you know, lathering it up with soap, shampoo. Um, I like to use something to, to excite my senses. When I'm washing my hair for a spiritual cleanse in particular, I like my Dr. Bronner's lavender soap because that smell of lavender is very relaxing and calming and I think it's appropriate for the moment. So I, I start to wash my hair and I start my prayer. Um, so, so the prayer and an intention setting kind of go hand in hand. It just depends on how you are doing your self-talk at this moment or if you're talking to God or if you're talking to yourself. So if you're praying to God, then it's a prayer, obviously. But if you're really talking to yourself, trying to like, you know, hype yourself up and just get into your subconscious, then that's more like intention setting. But for me, kind of, it's it kind of blurs with, you know, the language I use. So I would, you know, I would pray to God and probably ask questions. I'll ask God, God, why, why did you send this experience into my life? What was it supposed to teach me? What was it supposed to show me? Did I get everything that I was supposed to get out of it? Um, you know, I would ask whatever questions I have for the, for, or I asked to say, because I did this like a couple weeks ago, I asked anything I needed to ask at the moment. And then I said, um, so I'll probably also ask something like, um, you know, so is, so, you're telling me are you telling me that this is this is it is it completely done um is there anything that you want me to do is there anything that you want me to to say am, am i just guide me in the right way please like you know my prayers aren't always very articulate articulate because the, usually when i pray it's more of an emotional thing for me so i'm not the most articulate in those moments so um uh, also, when I'm setting more of my intentions, I'll say things like, um, you know, I, you know, I've had this stress um, in the front of my mind for a long time. It's starting to, you know, hinder my productivity. We can't have that. So I intend to wash out the stress from my hair, wash out the energy so that I have a clean slate and I'm able to be clear-headed and focused and do what it is that I need to do for me, you know? So I intend on, you know, massaging out all of this energy out of my hair. And I intend that after this spiritual cleanse is complete, I intend that, you know, I feel more motivated and committed and determined to do what I need to do for me as an individual. Whether or not this breakup is permanent, it's irrelevant right now because I need to focus on me. I have things that I need to do, moves that I need to make. Um, I know how I feel about this person. I know how this person feels about me. I realize we're not currently in alignment right now. Maybe down the line, maybe not. Either way, I'm gonna be just fine. Now, visualizations. And on the visualization, this is probably the weirder part, but this is the part that kinda makes it the spiritual cleanse, okay? So, as you're washing your hair, I, or I should speak for myself because this is how I do it. As I'm washing my hair, I envision, I close my eyes and envision. A color of what this energy in my hair weighing it down what it may look like and I'll probably say a color like a dark green that's just what came to mind right now I don't remember what color I saw at that moment maybe it was blue I don't know but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what color it is as long as you can see it in your mind's eye so um, I'm sorry if you can see my nails they are so crummy and I so embarrassed to be going out like this but anyway I don't have time to do them 
I've been so busy, guys. See, I've been so busy. I can I can afford to have this this um, stress on me. I have work to do, so I had to do this cleanse. I'm super been super busy. Anyway, um, did I tell y'all my birthday's coming? My birthday is March six, by the way. I don't know why that matters to any of you, but anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm what so I visualize the green energy lifting from my scalp lifting from my hair lifting from my locks and you know getting into the the foam lather from the shampoo and you know the water from the shower is washing it down washing it out of my hair down my back and down my legs and down the drain and I'm visualizing this green energy leaving my head leaving my body and flowing down the drain it's getting rid of this energy I'm visualizing it. it's very important and also um, you know it's like a you know when you're washing your hair for instance you don't just wash it real quick and then all the soap is gone it's, you have to keep washing it until all, all that color the energy all until all of it is finally washed out so I'll visualize it fading maybe from a dark green up into you know a really faint green until it's until I feel like I'm completely letting it go and as I'm visualizing it I'm just like releasing it and let it go I might be singing a song and for me my favorite song when it comes to releasing uh, stress and anxiety and worry and anger is um, a song called Mad by Solange featuring Lil Wayne and I love that song and it's so appropriate and I feel like it really resonates with me when it comes to like accepting my feelings for what it is but letting it go because it's, you, it's not gonna do anything good for me it's just gonna hold me back and hinder me so I will um, sing that song in my head or even like after I get out the tub and everything, um, I'll probably play that song on repeat a couple times because that song really helps me with that release. So whatever song that might be for you, um, I recommend you playing that. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any song recommendations for release, you know, for letting go. Leave, leave me a comment below. I would like some suggestions. Maybe I'll make a playlist or something. And the final step is gratitude. And now at this moment, I'll, you know, I'll say all my thank yous. I'll say my thank you to God for, for, you know, keeping me moving, keeping me pushing, and then, you know, never forsaking me, always, you know, giving me guidance when I need it. I'll send my thank yous to the person. Um, thank you for all of those memories. Um, thank you for all the lessons. I wish you the best. Even though things didn't work out for me and him right now or ever, you know, I I appreciate it because I learned that I am able to, to love in a certain kind of way that I didn't think I could before. So I'll give my thank yous to him. Then I'll give my thank yous to myself. Keisha, thank you for never giving up on yourself. Thank you for, you know, being so strong. Thank you for always, you know, taking your lessons as a good student and applying them. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much it, guys, you know. So the prayer and intention setting, the visualization and the gratitude, you know, Set some music if you want to, you know, set the mood that way. Put some music in the background if you have some instrumentals or if it has lyrics, you know, play it low so it's not distracting you. Also, remember the smells. The I have the lavender in my, in my shampoo, but maybe you have a shampoo that you prefer that doesn't smell very good. Maybe you want to light a candle, burn some incense, uh, or put some, like, essential oils on your um, shower walls. That That's a really, really good way to make your bathroom smell really, really good, by the way. And I think that is pretty much it. Yeah. Again, I would like to remind you to please, please, please sign up for my mailing list. Sign up for my mailing list. I have the link below. Also, please send me a testimonial 
for the Sephora Squad Influencer Program. I would really love to be a part of that team. And it's, it's actually a year-long um, sponsorship. So I would really like that opportunity. I want to rep for the lock community. I want to remind the world or teach the world that, you know, locks aren't just one thing. I want to represent Team Locks in the Sephora squad, you know, I'm sure there's going to be a, a diverse range of beautiful influencers, but I want to, I want to be the lock one. Yeah, that's the, that's the lock girl. <laughs> and last but not least, if you use my oils, please leave me a comment below with your testimonial or email me or however you want to contact me, DM, whatever. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you all for watching this video. Please leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for supporting me all these all these years. I'm on my way to nine years locked. I'm on my way to 28 years of life. And yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. I'll have my link check video up next. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.